Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Former President Barack Obama is back on the campaign trail for Democrats before the midterm elections, but is he really helping them? Former President Obama claims he doesn't lie. He only speaks in facts. Listen to this. Here's just one simple fact. This is a fact. This is not, I'm just, unlike some, I actually try to state facts. I believe in facts. All right? <laughs> I, I believe in a fact-based reality and a fact-based politics. I don't believe in just making stuff up. I think you should, like, actually say to people what's true. Really? Fact-based politics? What about PolitiFact's lie of the year? If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. Watch. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. Nothing in our plan requires you to change what you have. Nothing, nothing in this plan will require you or your employer to change your coverage or your doctor. If you like your doctor, you're going to be able to keep your doctor. They'll see that if Americans like their doctors, they will keep their doctor. First of all, if you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. If you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your plan and your doctor, you can keep them. Our approach would preserve the right of Americans who have insurance to keep their doctor and their plan. If you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like the doctor you have, you can keep your doctor too. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Turns out, no, no you can't. Millions of Americans lost their doctors, millions of Americans lost their coverage, and were forced to purchase more expensive plans because Obamacare forced them to under penalty of the law. Or how about you'll save $2,500 a year on health insurance premiums. That was a lie. Obama said the individual mandate in Obamacare wasn't a middle class tax increase. That was a lie too. The Supreme Court ruled it was. Obama said it's easier for a teenager to buy a Glock than to get his hands on a book. That's a lie. Obama's team said Benghazi was a spontaneous protest started by an Islamophobic YouTube video. That's a lie. Obama said his administration never had a scandal. Lie, lie, lie. Let's name a few. Benghazi, Fast and Furious, the IRS targeting conservatives and Tea Party groups, hacking journalist Cheryl Atkinson's laptop, wiretapping Associated Press reporters, Solyndra, thousands of U.S. military veterans dead, waiting for health care at the VA, billions of dollars sent to Iran in secret pallets on an unmarked jet, Hillary Clinton's emails, we know you sent her emails on that private address, Mr. President. You know, you knew what she was doing. And it was your DOJ that spied on Trump campaign officials using a dossier paid for by Hillary Clinton and the DNC. Talk about scandals. I thought you, sir, talked in facts. I think you should actually say to people what's true. But hey, that's just me quoting you. And that's my final points. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.